I think it's good for students to hear about it because the change has been dramatic over these 50 years. You know, back when I was in graduate school in the early 1970s, I was in psychology. But in psychology, the word genetics was never mentioned. So I did an undergraduate degree in psychology in Chicago at DePaul University. And I, I don't think I ever read or heard the word genetics. And even going into the 70s, um, genetics was bad and the environment was good. Um, you know, we were still sort of recovering from Nazi Germany and eugenics so that genetics had a very bad name. And um, uh, it was actually dangerous to talk about genetics. So I was in the only behavioral genetics program in the world. It just happened to be at the University of Texas at Austin. And it was just chance that I went there and took that course. But it, it, I went to my first conference in my second year in graduate school, and I was going to talk about some twin study I was doing and that showed substantial genetic influence on early temperament in children, you know, personality-like stuff. And the, the um, plenary address, you know, the major address, keynote address, was by this guy, Leon Kamen. And it seems to me, there was well over a thousand people. It seems like there were many thousands right now. But this guy gave a talk that was a rant against genetics in psychology. You know, he, he wrote a book called The Science and Politics of uh, IQ, but his main gripe was against these people who are now suggesting there might be genetic influence in psychology. 